everybody, welcome back to part seven. First, I want to say thank you for staying tuned and watching all these with me. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. There's been so many good ones, uh, so I really appreciate that. Uh, this is probably the last episode of this series. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but hopefully something... I don't, know what, I don't know what the next series will be or if it'll be just more short videos, but thanks again. Right now I have a 74 main jet, which I believe is too lean. And I have a 45 idle, which I believe is too rich. I had a 50 idle, but it was really boggy. And so I went down to a 45, but that was the lowest I had, so I had to order more. So today we're going to, I think, lower that and see how we can get it jetted. That was with the air fuel screw all the way in, which makes it run a little bit leaner. Uh, when I screw it out about half a screw, it dies, it bogs out, becomes rich. So I believe that the idle jet needs to go down. So we're gonna lower that. Make sure to have a little container to catch the gas when it falls. Remove the idle jet. I'm taking out a 45. I'm installing a 42. I had a 79 main, which I felt was a little lean. So I'm actually gonna put in an 85. And I think that might be a little too rich, but it'd be a good starting point. Turn on your gas and let's see how this runs. It seems a lot better. I'm going to take it for a test spin and see how it does on the road. Alright, let's try this out. Good idle response. circuit was great. Uh, it had really good mid-range, but the top end was a little bit boggy, and so I'm going to drop down from an 85 and I'm going to go to an 83. Pulling out the 85 main jet and installing an 83. This will lean out the top end a little and it shouldn't bog anymore and it should go a little bit faster. Alright, let's try out the 85. All right, this is the 83 jet main, and I still have the 43 idle. After I got back from that ride, it was running great. Uh, the jetting now is 83 main jet, and a 43 idle. And I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, when it gets hotter outside, we might have to put in a slightly smaller jet, like an 81 main, but I think it'll be fine all year round. Today it's uh, 65, 70 degrees, uh, so that's pretty good. One thing I did notice, and we talked about in an earlier episode, was that this chain might have to get tightened after the first ride. And sure enough, it did stretch a little, so I'm just gonna move the rear wheel back a little bit. Loosen the axles. Really quick, uh, this is a 15 tooth front sprocket, and I'm actually gonna change this out for a 16 tooth. Um, that'll increase the top end speed of this bike a little bit. Remove the circ clip with the circ clip ring tool. Pull that off. Put on a 16, or any size, whatever you're going with. Put this back on. Make sure the ring is seated. There we go. Put your chain back on. 
It's easy to do the master link when it's on the sprocket because then it holds the chain for you. Remember you want the master link in the travel of direction so the open part is facing backwards. There we go. Tighten the axle adjuster. That's pretty good. Uh, 1645 gearing. I just got back from my last test run. Uh, this thing is running great. It does about 38, 40. Um, that's pretty good. It could go faster with different gearing, but this is just a mild city cruiser that has good acceleration, so I think it's perfect. Once again, thank you for watching all the videos and staying tuned. Um, can't wait to start my next project. Thanks.